Alright, yeah, and welcome back to some more Magic Jewels. This week we're going to be taking a look at an Is It Thopters deck submitted to us by Jeff Melendez, so very much thank you for the list. Uh, if you haven't checked out the deck tip, then be sure to do so, and I will see you in the games, guys. Okay, let's go. We've got both of our colours. We've got a lot of expensive stuff, and we don't really do anything unless we draw a land, so I'm going to throw it back. Uh, this one's much better, actually. We got both colours yet again. But we have a turn two play with the two lands that we have, so that seems good enough to me. Let's see what our opponent is doing. They are on white. Is it white weenie? If it is, they've not got off to the optimal start. Ooh, a fire weaver. That can come out straight after the ether swooper. Because the Ether Swooper is going to get us some energy and make us a servo, which the Fire Weaver can then get a trigger from, which is going to be pretty sweet. So we'll play that and pass the turn, see what our opponent does. It's likely to be uh, unblocked as well. Ooh, red white vehicles, maybe? Or just aggro. Fiery Impulse to take down our Swooper, sure. That is fine with me. It's not ideal, but it's fine. And Inventor's Goggles. Well, we'll play the Fire Weaver, because then next turn at least we've got the Goggles to trigger a point of damage. We'll see. Three Toughness is going to make it difficult for him with the Fiery Impulses that he might be running. He's going to need to get Spell Mastery if he's got a full place out of them before he can kill the Fire Weaver. As so we're stone quarry into a console's lieutenant. So this is like red white aggro then. I'm guessing. Fireweaver's a great little blocker for this guy though. Ooh, there's some energy. Okay. So I think we want to lead off with the Thopter Engineer. It's gonna give us a Thopter, which we can use to improvise to get the Maverick Thopterist out sooner, and it'll also trigger and we can get in over the top as well. Uh, I think I'm going to swing him with both. He can't block there without it losing his creature, and we've got a 1-3 back to block anyway. And even if he does have combat tricks, we've got a backup one anyway. To stick back into the board. And he's no blocks for him. Expected as much. Okay. So we've got four mana if you count the Thopter as improvised. So we're one mana short of the Thopterist. Which will get us two more Thopters, which are likely to be hasty unless he gets rid of our Engineer. He goes with Grasp of the Hieromancer. So, this is an aura that can tap down creatures whenever it attacks. Which means he's going to be able to get Renown and make it a 4-3. He's going to go with two of them. Okay. Properly suiting that guy up. That's fine with me. Taps down the Engineer. Gonna make himself a 5-4. Which is quite the clock that he's put on there. We don't really run any removal either, so this is more of a race. Plus any chump blockers we can throw down anyway. A well a rogue, eh? So, the most damage is probably Chief of the Foundry. Chief of the Foundry boosts Thopter. This Thopter up, so he gets that extra bit. He's also going to be hasty. And he's also going to trigger the Fire Weaver. I think that's the most amount of damage we're going to get. Hmm. Yeah. Let's do that. He's probably going to eat some removal, if we're honest. Alright, since he's tapping down two creatures and the only ones we'd keep back are these two, I'm just going to swing in with all of them. Try to get as much damage in, race him faster than he's racing us. Take him down to 10. Short of more auras, he's going to take us down to 11. Swings in for 5. Okay. What's his follow-up play going to be? He's 
got five mana, so it's highly likely he gets to play whatever is in his hand. It's going to be a Blessed Spirit 2-2 two -two that gains a counter whenever you play an enchantment. And he plays an enchantment, which is going to make it a 4-4. Four -four. Same grasp as the uh, console's lieutenant one. Alright, so we're in a tricky situation now. Do I have an island? We can pay 5, 4, 3... Yeah, we can't play too many things on the same turn. So I think we're just going to go with a Whirl of Rogue and just push through a lot of pressure. So that's going to be two damage from the Fire Weaver. And then we can, if we swing in with all of our Thopters, that's an extra four damage. Takes him down to four. Which likely means he can't afford to attack in anymore. I think it's worth a Thopter. Losing a Thopter here. Puts him at a low enough life total that a Maverick Thopter is getting us two more Thopters is probably going to do it. Because it's two damage just off the Fireweaver alone. There's an Abbot of Carol Keep, so he gets to exile a card and casts it if he can afford it. It's a mountain, so he can definitely afford it. That might have been how he was looking to get out of this. So he can swing in for nine, but that's not gonna do it, so he's gonna be forced to hold back. But the Maverick Thopter is creating the two Thopters is gonna be enough to go straight over the top as long as he hasn't got some sort of removal that we don't like. So what's he got? Hmm. Probably got something. Ooh, Binker and Nala. It's the same as the Thopterist, really. Yeah, it's essentially the same as the Thopterist. I don't think there's any way around that. So if I was to play the Inventor's Goggles... So we need to swing in for four. We're going to be blocking two, so we only have to make up two points. If that card's removal of some sort, then we need an extra attacker. <laughs> Excuse me. We need an extra attacker in, so creating two Thopters to go over the top rather than tapping down for an extra Inventor's Goggles trigger from the Fireweaver, I think it's just better. I'm gonna block, I'm gonna tap down the Chief, pay the rest of it. Two damage from the Fireweaver. Takes him down to two, swinging with all of our Thopters. See what he can do. Oops. Skadoosh. I think that's going to be game. Blessed Alliance takes him up to six. He makes a sack. That could have saved him, I think. Yeah. But he didn't have it. Alright, fantastic. I'll see you guys in the next game. Alright, we're in. Uh, we have turn two, Ether Chaser, turn one, Inventor's Goggles. So we're going to make a 3-3 Chaser. Chief of the Foundry for the server we make and Artifice of Epiphany without the discard. So that's going to be pretty good. Alright, we'll go with Mountain into Inventor's Goggles. And pass the turn, see what our opponent's doing. Ugh. Just got off playing another game. I was recording it, but we were getting destroyed so hard and it was just emotionally draining. He had two Weaver of Lightnings and he was killing every single Thopter that I generated. And even though he was destroying me, he was doing nothing with it and it was just going on for so long. It was just so draining. So you, I won't be showing you that, that footage because it wasn't fun to play. So I imagine it wasn't fun to watch either. It was really bad. Right. 3-3, three, three, First Striker coming in, unless he's got Grasp of Darkness or Blessed Alliance or many other things. 
As long as we get our combat step in, though, we get ourselves a servo token. So let's see if we survive. Three damage coming on in. All right, it sticks. That's good. Right, I think what we'll do is we'll just hold up Mana and then Epiphany on his end step, or in response to him removing our servo, or our inventor's goggles, or both. Either way, we're drawing two right now. Let's do it. So he played another land. Complete disregard. Killing our Ether Chaser, it's alright, got his job done. And we get a Thought to Spy Network. Lovely. Alright, Inventor's Fair. So we could pin Kieran Nalar and suit it up with the Inventor's Goggles, which will allow our Inventor's Fair to be online, or we could just Thought to Spy Network now and draw a card. Get a Thopter on upkeep. I think that's a lot better. And then we can stick down Chief of the Foundry later down the line when we're sufficiently convinced that he's run out of removal that he's not just going to top deck into. So hit him for one draw card. Maintain that card advantage. So this might be a uh, black-white control, I'm guessing. Been a while since I played this card. Used to be so good. Hmm. Alright. Land and pass. It's got to be control, right? Now he's got a shambling vent in order to chump with the servo. It's a 2-3 as well, so... I can't even suit up with the Inventor's Goggles and expect it to survive, really. We could Chief of the Foundry and then equip with the Goggles. That would work. Hmm. Yeah, I guess so. We'll go Chief. Gives all artifacts plus one, plus one. Other than itself. Suit up the servo so that it does not trade with the Shambling Vent. And see if he wants to let us draw a card, have removal, or trade off his shambling vent. It's just going to let us hit. Okay. So we draw a card. We drew another Pinkirinala. Okay. Slaughter Drone. Is this one that gives Death Touch? Yeah, for a colourless mana. Interesting. He can indeed do such things. So we get a trigger off the Inventor's Fair, gaining one life. We get another Thopter, thanks to the Spy Network. And I guess... Probably just want to Evolving Wilds here, because we can't do more than one thing this turn, really. What we can do is we can swing in with both of these. He's going to pay a mana to make it have Death Touch, but... That's trading off a creature anyway, and we still get our card draw through. So I think that's fine. We could also... Oh no, we don't have the mana for that. Never mind. Right, let's do that. Swing in with both of these. See if he wants to trade and pay mana to get rid of a servo token. Looks like he does. Alters Reap. Oh no, he's going to block and sack. Draws two cards. Fair enough. Same thing, except we get to keep our, ser our servo token. Another Inventor's Fair. Sure. Let's go with the Pink Kieran. I'm not too afraid to overextend here, because we have two very, very big Thopter generating good units here, so... Um, might as well give Pink Kieran a little boost. Saves him from some of the uh, removal spells in the game. We'll go get ourselves another mountain, I guess, since we're going to be paying to sacrifice things to deal damage. Potentially, anyway. I think we've got him, though. Shot of a board wipe here. Which is only going to delay the inevitable, I think. Because we keep our equipment around, which means Thop to Spy Network is still going to trigger. Okay, he has a Eldrazi Displacer, so he gets to exile one of our creatures and bounce it back. Which is likely going to be just kill one of our Thopters in this case. Thopter Spy Network. Alright, that's that's pretty much just game. Alright. Well. Let's just go Thopter Spy Network again then. 
Any artifact that deals combat damage now draws us two cards, and we get two Thopters every single turn. Even through a board wipe, we're probably going to win. Let's just swing in with all of these guys here. If he has to flicker our P and Kieran, then he's going to give us some more Thopters back. So, eight in the air, three on the ground. He is going to go for the flicker. Probably to take down a servo and chump P and Kieran would be my guess. Yep. Takes down the servo. He's taking six in the air, which is still lethal next turn. And he takes it. Okay. We draw two cards. <laughs> which is another card draw spell. And another engineer. So these three combined is just going to end him. So we got nothing to worry about here. Thopter's doing what Thopter's do best. Matter Reshaper. Alright. So this was actually kind of like Black White Eldrazi then? Interesting. And he's done. Okay. We could Epiphany. We probably should Epiphany, so I'm just going to do it. It is the correct play. We gain one life off the Inventor's Fair. We gain two Thopters from the Spy Networks. We gain a Fire Weaver. So we can kill him without even going into combat here. Fire Weaver. We're not going to move the Inventor's Goggles. Thopter Engineer. Gains the Thopter deals in one damage. And then we swing in with everything. And I'm going to do that. Because I can. No. And swing in. Skadoosh. And blocks. And dies. Alright guys, that is going to do it for today's episode, so if you did enjoy the content then be sure to leave a like and subscribe for some more Magic Jewels content in the future. Also don't forget to check out the deck tech if you are interested as well, it should already be uploaded by this point. And be sure to hit the little bell icon right next to the subscription button to be notified when I release new videos. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>